Uh, so I think I could attack Otto here. Bosnia won't help him, so we're totally in the clear. Holy War, of course. Makes it way cheaper to take clay in the war. Yep, get you guys over here. I know I'm working on a Diplo idea group. I don't care. We can just fall behind on Diplo for all I care. Doesn't mean anything to me. Still no forts around here, so it's uh, that's a 40 stack of Ming right there. A stretch as well, yeah. Everybody's stretching out. Takes a while to update. I just want, I want, I want it now. I want it now. How's our trade income looking? 102. 114. There we go. It's built. It's updated. There you go. 0.2 for metalworking leader bonus. We get 0.4 goods produced in every single province that has a workshop. Which is, you know, all of them for the most part. Come on, man. Give monies, please. Give monies. These guys get all kinds of devastation. Oh, yeah, look at that. His war exhaustion is also going up as well. I plan on staying in this war for a bit. So these two provinces up here are fair game. Scorch that one, of course. A little more devastation from looting. I don't care about his, like, capital and stuff being occupied by rebels. If anything, it's a good thing for me. Ming explosion, go burr. That's the hope. That is my goal here. Let's get this army grouped up with the rest of these guys over here so we can beat up on some Ming armies. How's his debt looking? Has he taken any more loans out? No, he has no loans now, actually. Funny. Funny how that works. Took two forts with that stack. I still have all the forts that I took before. Oh, you're talking about this. These guys here. Byzantium. Yeah. They're popping off over here. Over here. Let's get our armies grouped up here. Look at this loot tick. Look at the loot tick. Mmm. Two devastation instantly. Feels good, man. Hey, what's up, Super Dip? How you doing, buddy? Good day to you. Happy Tuesday. There we go. Loot ticks on the monthly tick. Very good. I'll take the mill points, please. We have call for pizza. And uh, you know what that means, right? It means I'm going to let their war exhaustion go up a little bit more. These guys down here are going to speed five it. I'm just going to come down here and try to find their army and kill them. Get another general. Where are you guys heading? Nowhere. Pretenders, not independence rebels. Ah, who cares? It's fine. Get these guys down here. Destroy them all. Corrupt the child. All that fun stuff. And then to assert our dominance here... Especially in the provinces with no fort. I'm going to scorch all those ones. Their war exhaustion is going up significantly. So I suppose uh, we can take a withdrawal from the Bank of Ming. Uh, we don't want to take as much war score as we can, though. We could, like, 100% him if we wanted to. Your content is pretty good. Ever considered starting a YouTube channel? I've thought about it, man. I don't know. I just, like, my heart is just not in it, you know? Fourth Rome vibe, boy. Fourth Rome vibe, boys. I would... I thought about it, Rory, but I don't know, man. YouTube just seems like too much work. Be getting fourth Rome vibes. YouTube's overrated.
Maybe you can PU Ming. Time for the fifth roam. What tech is Ming? Probably the same as me. Yeah. Almost up with me. Let me see here. All right. Pay off these loans. No loans for me, please. All right. I'm going to go a couple more months just to let their their devastation stack up to the best of my abilities. Their devastation is still going up across their entire country. So if I can loot a couple more of these provinces as well and get them even more. Take a look at the forts. Zone of control is what we're looking for. So anything that doesn't have a fort zone of control, you just get in there and loot it. Gives you more money. So, like, come over here. Make sure you loot it all. Because loot comes back and then you just take it again and it devastates them even more. The war exhaustion isn't even hardly touching us right now. I'll be able to buy that down no problem, right? 100 ducats is Russia? Oh, yeah, man. Trading income is overpowered. Here we go. All right. Ming. I'll take all your money. So that leaves them with a decent bit of uh, devastation or war exhaustion. Leaves them with eight war exhaustion still. It's really good. Get all their money. Too much work to get your audience called bots. <laughs> Ming might pop. I certainly hope so, man. They have a lot of rebels here. So how long till our truce is up with Nivik? 23. This 30 stack is plenty. Uh-huh. So let's see here. I got a claim on this province here. Really? Is that for a mission? The Manchu Frontier. So we need all this over here. So Dong Hai, truce is already up. So let's do this. I'll call in Hai Chi and Nivik. All right, let's get our armies over here so we can handle them. I really can't be bothered. Did they form Tibet? Doesn't look like it. More idea groups, please. Trade efficiency money. More money, please. 120. 119. Okay, didn't go up. Reasons. Let's see. Is there any of these guys we need to upgrade before we do... Let's uh, upgrade a couple of these guys. Let's upgrade, like, this guy. This guy. Uh, let's get a couple of these guys over here upgraded as well. Like Smolensk. Level 3. Kiev, let's upgrade you to a level 3. And then Ostracon, let's upgrade this one here to a, a level 3 as well next month. I'll steer more money up that way because there's a lot of money that we're losing here. 123, 125, so we're making good money now. Not bad. Ming is dead as the Avengian Avengian Empire. Whatever that is, bro. About to max out on mill points, so let's spend some mana here. Definitely English. So now our max manpower is over 400. Over 9,000. Let's attack these guys. Holy war. I might be able to just full annex Nivik in this war. That would actually be kind of cool. Have these guys head over here with a general, of course. Get a couple of them. Have these guys head over here. We'll just carpet siege them down. They won't even be able to get any men out to siege down any of my provinces, so we'll be good. Play as England and form the Angvin Empire if you want to. I do like playing as England. They're fun. So these guys, I think I'll just piece them out separately. Hai Chi, I'll just piece them out. Uh, right now, like as soon as I can, as soon as I see just capital down, I'll probably be able to take Nivik also, please. So if you were listening to me 40 seconds ago, I said, yeah, I might be able to full annex them in this war. I'd say French, but don't mind me. Sacre bleu. Just kidding. Gasp. Japanese Korea. Ooh. Nani? Yamato. Don't want to brag or anything, but England EU4 is awesome. 
Barag. Is that the name of a province around here? Is that what you're coming up with, Victoria? You're just like finding random provinces that I'm looking at? More like the English king having more lands than the French king in France. I'll white piece them. That way I can attack them again soon. Let's have these guys do something like this. Less attrition is good. Full occupy Dong Hai. Did you stream with the downfall empire mode? Really love to watch the Frankish empire. Are you, are you talking about um, Ant Antebellum? Because I have played with Antebellum before. Big fan of Antebellum. Also a big fan of the dev, pretty much. I like it. So we get mediocre diplocon council for dev cost, manpower, improved relations. I'll take the dev cost. I like dev. He's only 30. Oh. Cecilia von Habsburg. Let's see here. No other von Habsburgs that we can push on, sadly. Mediocre council. I sleep. I'm sleep. It always blows my mind that, um, like, non Americans just are so up to it, up, like, with it when it comes to um, memes. I guess, like, you know, it's just like there's so many memes that um, are popular across the on the internet, you know? Green Manchuria. Yeah, we're going to get all the way down. We got to get Vladivostok, right? All right, cool. So Nivik, you can separate piece out for all of this. I'm going to let him keep that province because, you know, I don't really need it. Not yet, I'd say. We have memes in Europe too. So I've heard. <laughs> I just mean like, I don't know. In I guess like English spoken memes always just get me because it's like a lot of people get them. People just get them. It's good. I like it. So how much overextension is that? 30%. So then I full annex this dude. I don't need that one down there. Oh yeah, we can do this. Easy enough. Beautiful. It's lots of claims that we just followed up on. Now, what do I need for this guy here? Ensuring Frontier. Oh, give me a break, man. Really? Can I threaten him for it? I didn't even catch that. Nice looking Russia for 1623. I would agree. English memes or what about Wacom and Wickham are pronounced exactly the same way? No. I meant um, like uh, English language memes. He won't give it to me, man. Bro, I could intervene on behalf of the Ottomans again. I will pass on that. But I will uh, rival the Ottomans, which will then allow me to embargo them. We have small PP now, which is quite tragic. Our truce with them won't be up for a while either. So you can't get PP from insulting rivals. That's sad. So if I were to attack Oirat, who would join? Just Mongolia. Cool. Let's do it. I don't mind. I'll do it. I'll have these guys suppress rebels over here because they're going to happen. And then we'll get these guys over here grouped up. You have the truce. What? It's about how you use it. Small PP, sadly. Let's have these guys come over here. Vladivostok pen fell. Oh, I didn't see it. Hey, there are two Filipino here. Hey, what's up, Filipinos? One of them might be Salix. Salix a Filipino. I'll repay that loan. Very good. Let's uh, get some better admiral or better guys here. Discipline sounds good. Get these guys over here with a general, of course. Disgusting. Max absolutism for free. Ooh, or government reform progress. Which one would I rather have? What's our next government reform? Toleration 
of all faiths edict because we are russia construction costs state maintenance and tolerance of heathens construction cost is nice what else can we get there national unrest at the cost of absolutism to know from me tolerance of her heretics and heathens minimum autonomy and territories so that's pretty good as well the regional representation and governing cap i think governing cap we can manage as long as we keep our buildings going speaking of all kinds uh i'll take the reform it's fine no tolerate not not halal how's the cap now it's all right we're doing okay we have some some more to worry about but uh i think we're okay here Do something like that get you guys in here all the bronze are belong to us speaking of do i have tin now is that what you're trying to get at which one? Where's 10 again? Here. I have 10. I have two 10 provinces. Steop, I have two 10 provinces. <gasps> All right. So what does that mean now? So I need to make bronze, and then I can use bronze, right, to make artillery bonus, and then this one will get soon. So I have this one. So we need to make bronze. So let's make a metal foundry on some copper over here let's build i can only build one at a time apparently rename one to one snowy tin tin a lot of low dev promises in siberia but once i remember as europe exists that cap won't hold hey being ahead on diplo more money please i love money i love making money These guys over here. Ming, how you feeling? More exhaustion is down, but they have negative mandate now. Look at their mandate. <laughs> so they now have... They're going to have a ton of national unrest now. It's going to be really good. Wish I had money to support. Nah, don't worry about it, brother. It's all good. It is all good, man. Went brank up and lost some stab. Uh, forgot to ask last stream. Have I caught up on my push-ups? Oh, yeah, we went bankrupt. I wasn't able to do them. You guys are crazy. If you actually think I'm going to do, like, 900 freaking push-ups, man. I'm glad that you guys have faith in me that I could do that, but, uh, I'll be honest. I don't think I could. That would be horrible. So let's just full annex these guys, right? Less tags, less issues with coalitions. Pour it all up, no big deal. A little bit of border gore, I'll clean it up eventually. No big deal. Uh, looks like I'm going to be way overextended. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Have these guys come over to a province where they're not going to take a ton of attrition. Overextension doesn't exist. It can't hurt you. Oh no, rebellions in Russia incoming and can't end well. Nah, we'll be cool. It's mostly going to be over here in these provinces, which, you know, I don't care about. Overextension is just a number? I don't know about all that. Overextension is painful, but we'll roll with it. To Alaska. Global seller increase. Very cool. So, I don't know. I think I have to get colonial to do that, but it looks like we don't have to actually do that in order to get this Russia above all. So all I need is this to annex him. Spain will join. I don't care about Spain. They're not going to actually do anything. I'm confident of that. I'll just let my vassals handle that, and then I'll you know come back and check in a little bit. Is this province done? Be done soon. Hey, what's up, Flyer fan? Who's Spain? Never heard of him. Donghai Separatists. Sorted. Looks like we're going to need to build some more forts over here as well, since we've uh, got some clay down here. So this fort will communicate with, like, this fort down here. So let's get rid of you. Build a fort. Let's get rid of anything over here. Workshop. Build a fort. Build one... Uh, these ones won't connect. Oh, they will, actually. Build one there. These two will connect through, like, right here. Build one there. 
And these two connect there. So this is this is actually perfect. Cool. Live in constant Spain with a silent S. You know it. A minor inconvenience. Don't click it. It can't do anything. It can only fire once in a while. So we need to buy our war exhaustion down a bit, though. Because we will have some unrest. Oh, yikes. Not over here, though, man. Bruh. Come on, man. Don't do it to me. Not these ones. I don't because that takes like ten years to walk over there, you know? Time to remove Norway and let Sweden eat them. They had some claims, man. I don't know why. Like neither of them are getting any claims. Nobody will really get any claims. Truce with Otto is up. So let's go ahead and send him a scornful insult. Tell him that he sucks and I hate him. Then I can also embargo him. PP purposes. Hold up, Gotland's still alive. Looks like it. I saw that they had a dispute of succession a while back. X gonna give it to you. Big PP indeed, lads. Big PP indeed. So I'm curious if Spain is actually gonna like be dumb and march men all the way over here. That would be hilarious. Uh, so I think I could attack Otto here. Bosnia won't help him, so we're totally in the clear. Holy War, of course. Makes it way cheaper to take clay in the war. Yep, get you guys over here. There we go. For now, I'll just speed five it. I'm not too worried about it. Mongol Separatists sorted. Cannot question them. Gotland is a brother kingdom? Of who? Denmark. Very good. All this overextension, man. We're going to have rebels for a long time. As long as I'm handling the rebels, I don't really care. Speaking of, I should probably get my stab up a little bit, huh? Uh, the particulars are going to pop. There's nothing I can do about it, man. Looks like these guys are in a war with them. Same war that I'm... Or the same war as the um, uh, Mamluks. Spain has a PU on Portugal, it looks like. Yeah, they do. Interesting. All right. I'm just gonna have to sit on that one for a bit. Hopefully my rebels would like go beat up on that, or my rebels, my vassals would go beat up on them, but it, I'm not gonna get my hopes up, so I'm actually gonna head up and handle them myself. How the rebels looking out, out east? Sorted, completely done, very good. United based Iberia, it's true. Let's go with... I'm real keen on harsh treatment costs. I like admin efficiency, but harsh treatment cost is just too good, especially right now. Look at that. Especially when you're when you're having uh, issues with rebels. Like, look at that. We just bought like <laughs> nine. Uh, uh, what's it gonna call it? Absolutism. It's pretty good. Get these guys over there with a the general. Oh, nice. The good old fifty stack. Yeah, my fort, my fort, um, my forts are not very good over here. Let's, uh, get a fort right here. That will get zone of control with, oh, it doesn't. Let's get a zone of, con zone of control right there. Get zone of control right here. This one will connect with here. Need to upgrade lots of these forts over here. Man. Upload the next episode of Cotton Candy. Uh, if it didn't go up today, it might not go up till tomorrow. I don't know the exact schedule. Quag is the one who handles that channel for me. Get those guys over here. Ottoman Balkans. Of 
Four, two, three. We'll lead our lead our armies now, or our, lead our dude. Decent administrative council. Dev cost overpowered, man. Got to roll with it. To Constantinople, of course. Loving the stream. Cheers, man. I appreciate that. They're gonna reinforce. I'm actually gonna lose because he dogpiled. Oh wait, he's got a lot more cannons than I do. I should probably get to work on that, huh? Let's see here. Love rushing you for gameplay. I do as well. Let's steer from here. See how that works. Got a lot of stuff over here that we can't add to trade companies. 3.4 going through here. It should go a little bit up. 432 is not the best, but I'll take it. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely could be getting better trade here. What in the world? See, this pisses me off, man. And they won this battle over here as well. Come on, give me the 42. Fifty-seven. Come on now. I can't, I can't be bothered for this, man. I'll have to buy that down as well. Definitely don't want to have, uh, of course, somebody so discontent as well. Jerks. These guys are going to completely just swarm me. Very fun. Fun and interesting mechanics. Look at this. Look at this. What? 18 day siege ticks, man. Damn. All right, let's get up here and catch this small stacks out. Get out of here. Catch him out. 24 stack. Get him. Kill him dead. I don't care. Get you guys down here. Get you guys over here. Oh, of course Spain came all the way over here. Hey, what AI country cheats the most? Ottomans, of course. Don't you know? Let's uh, boost our stab up as well. As our overextension goes down, we will lose unrest, and that'll be good for us. So I just need Spain to peace out. That's the main thing. This is a fort for me. Oh my gosh, I'm losing battles. <sighs> wow, I'm getting pissed. They have so many men over here, man. Alright, let's get these guys off of here. This will be good. They're force marching. Are they going to get there in time? They will not. Let's come down here and catch these guys here. Hopefully... They are force marching away from me. Okay. I'm gonna full annex these guys, so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to piece out Spain before we can get that one. Get these guys over here. It's already age of cannons. Tech 16. Uh yes, of course. That stack is literally that big, and they just got completely shredded. Fuck off, man. Time to go kill some Ottomans down here in Anatolia, or in, in Greece, I mean. Bulgaria, whatever. Uh, yeah, we have Icon of St. Michael. What happened to the Empire Man campaign to get the achievement? Uh, did you watch the campaign? No, I didn't. It was too much, too much hardship for me to endure. Get out of here, you punks. Hopefully they're just coming over here. That would be really nice. No, nope, they're going to flee, like, all the way over here, of course. I really don't want this. There we go. Buy that down. That'll go away this month. There's 
so many of them. Why? Why is there so many of them? Of course, they took quantity. So now they have infinite manpower again. Like you do with the Ottomans, right? What's my goal in this campaign? To uh, explore the mission tree and have some fun. That's the main goal. So let's... Let's get these armies set up to be a little more appropriate for... So first off, what is our combat with? 32. So let's make a template here. 32. Let's go with like 38. Build a couple of cannons, I guess. Not now though, I don't care. Take these guys over here. These guys are just pure infantry to, you know, fill the ranks if they get attacked. How, oh my gosh, these forts are literal garbage. You have to build forts, man. You have to. Ottomans just being so annoying. I need to be building spy network over here as well. Just have fun? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the main reason you play E4, isn't it, buddy? Culture convert Hungarian to Ruthenian. When am I going to do that? Uh, you know, I'll be honest. I don't think I'm going to. It doesn't sound like it's a... Uh, makes sense. The Ottomans be melting forts like hot butter through knife. Thousand degree but knife. So annoying. They're on Constantinople, and I didn't even see them, man. Look at this. Uh, oh, it's been 28 days? 28 days? <sighs> this is kind of taking the fun away for me. I'm not going to lie. Them just teleporting these giant doom stacks around and being able to siege my stuff down in a matter of months, a matter of a sh less than a month. Disgusting! No kidding, man. Absolutely disgusting. Come on, let's catch some of these stacks. It is a, it's a, it's a holy war. So we lost the siege of Sargrad. That's a wipe. That should be a wipe as well. Very good. Get these guys up here to siege this back. Let's get uh, Ryzon back as well. These guys just are teleporting around and just sieging down my forts in like a month. It's crazy. Strategic war, tuning Ming PU inbound. Let's see if I can do it. Portugal's on low enthusiasm. Spain is almost on low enthusiasm. All I need to do is peace out Spain and I can get out of this war. That'll be good. I don't care about that. Get out of my face. Um, I'm just going to do this. I cannot be bothered. I need to just stomp the Ottomans in this war. And if that means being way ahead on Miltech, look at this. This is the meta right here. 20 years ahead on Miltech. Slacking standards? Uh, Maybe. Let's take a look at what their army qual or their professionalism is at. Oh, they're at 90. Uh, nine, 90 professionalism, you know. Like you do with the Ottomans. They're going to siege back all this again. Look at this, bro. Oh, they're swarming. There's just too many of them. They're just swarming everywhere, man. Very annoying. Anyways, uh, I think we can avoid this. It's not a big deal. Try the true air of Timur achievement. Eh. Eventually, but uh, not anytime soon. Just doesn't really appeal to me. Not a big fan of timed achievements runs. There you go, Sweden. Let's get over here. Start sieging down uh, Anatolia. That way, if they, you know, they want to do this, they can. But too late to put up a front line. Holding back the tide? No, that's actually what we're working on right now. Uh, we have a couple of forts over here. Uh, I actually just unlocked level 6 as well, so let's get these upgraded. 
These guys are not in the war, so I don't care. These guys over here need that. I'll upgrade as many of these as I possibly can. Mostly the ones that are on the front line, of course. It's going to hurt our economy, but it's fine. Spain being in that war is so annoying. Posture check. Yes, sir. Sit up straight. I think I might have missed the hydration earlier. Let's get that. Vessel's economy. Oopsies. Clicked the wrong button over here. Sweden is in debt. Poland is fine. Byzantium is not in debt. Livonian order is in debt. So I should probably subsidize Sweden just so they can have a bigger army. Being a being a march, I'd rather them just have a lot of men in the field. Same thing with these guys. How's Prussia looking? They're good. We don't need them. Hey, what's up, Bart? How you doing, buddy? Economic power more, dude. Don't like losing money. You always min-max? I definitely don't. I do not believe in min-maxing. I think that's for nerds. Won the siege over here. Very good. And buy that down short. So we just want to get these guys down here and win as many sieges as possible, as quickly as possible in Anatolia. Get a foothold over here. Continue converting all this stuff over here so we can add it to the trade companies as well. Not me. You're awesome. We're all nerds. I don't think being a nerd means you can't be awesome too, though, don't you think? History nerds assemble. What's the war goal against the Ottoman? The The goal is uh, it's a holy war, so show strength. But uh, the goal is as much of this as possible, preferably over here first. That way we can, you know, get into Anatolia, but then all that as well. Ottomans are now in Sargrad, like you do. Oops. This is fine, chat. Zero mandate. Oh yeah, we destroyed the Ming. One more. That's all you needed, right? Takes some time, like five years for the war, but eventually you make it all worth it. We can't get back across the strait, though, because of this, so. Boo-hoo for us, I guess. This capital is right here in Huda Vendigar, so that'll be good. Mingo boom. Stinky Ming. Won the Siege of Ankara, very good. Scorch the province. Hey, Otto, what's up, dude? How's it going? Where'd your stack go, idiot? That's what you get. How about you try to be annoying and carpet siege more of my land? Siege provinces to march for defensiveness bonus? I could. I don't really need to. It's not really a big deal. Hopefully they don't win that siege. Look at this, dude. A 56 stack just chilling. I am literally sieging down his capital, and he's just marching a 56 stack hundreds of miles away. This AI is so jacked with its prioritizing things. Like something like this. They have a claim on Lesbos, apparently. Something like this. 75%. Oh, Are you kidding me, man? General definition of playing tall. Uh, high dev, low, low number of provinces would generally be the high dev. And there's no number for it. It's literally just like, you know...
Yep, I saw it. I can't get back across the straight here, so I have to get one unit here. Going on a mission. Like playing wide more. Colonizing. Yeah, colonizing is boring AF, in my opinion, but obviously it's strong. It's just, I feel like it's not engaging at all. I just feel like I'm sitting there drooling on myself. Yeah, check out the VODs channel. All my homies hate colonizing. I agree. So much money to be had in colonies. Yes, yeah, so much time to be sitting on speed five, waiting on colonies to finish. That's more what I'm getting at. Yo, look at this. This is so annoying. Spain. Spain will get out. Very good. Hopefully they don't win this 35. That's going to be really annoying if they do. Something like this. Take you. Trade steering will get us a bit more money. Very good. Five days. And I can yank this. Very good. Full annex for me. For all eventually. Yeah, those Lithuanian noble rebels. Makes sense. I can core you, though. It'll give me permanent claims on a bunch of stuff of this. Battle of Warsaw. Cav combat ability. Yearly prestige. March into Warsaw happens. Unlock the Polish estate. Ah, okay. Or Siberia is the perfect place for such scums. Oh, jeez. I want the Polish estate. Oh, the estate doesn't work? So do we genocide him? Will I play the new CK3 DLC? Yeah, probably. We removed it in 1.30. Okay, so it looks like I just have to do this one then. No genocide. Feels bad, man. So let's see here. How did that work? Literally one province over here because it's all in Polish land. Lost the siege to rebels. Hey, Auto Man coming in to beat up on my rebels for me. Good guy, Auto Man. Spy network construction is good. So let's get these can guys stacks that have the cannons in them. Get them down here grouped up. These guys over here grouped up. We'll do a quick carpet siege over here to, you know, because we should, right? These guys are over here on Trebizond. I did not scorch that province, so need to be smart about how we engage them here. Nice. He literally took that siege in like one day. Isn't he noble rebels, huh? I don't care. Very good. Get you guys over here. Hopefully they don't take a 14 percenter. Would not surprise me in the slightest. Come on up here. Is Levick Polish? He is. They won the 14 percenter. Oh my gosh. Let's catch this Tunisian stack out. I can just destroy them. Why is it taking me so freaking long to march up there? I don't know. That is a dead Tunisian stack right there. Very good. They're just sieging me down over here. Once I piece out Tunis and uh, uh, Medina, I don't know why these guys are so stoked up to be in the war, but not for long. They definitely won't be for long. Mr. South Pole. <laughs> Is that how you guys refer to each other? North Pole, South Pole. The classic. Yopst. 
Automan death confirmed. Yeah. We were saying that last time. They're still doing all right, so. We'll see how it goes. After wiping his army out, though, that was uh, pretty good for us. Pretty uh, pog, if you will. As the kids say nowadays. Get these guys over here. Get them off the capital because they're carpet sieging with their, like, seven-day siege ticks over here. Look at this. There you go. Not bad. Fight some rebels. Hey, the rebels beat them. Nice. Now I'm okay with these rebels. Corpus Siege go burr. That's it. Tunis wants out. Watch the war score. Boom. Instantly just shoots up. These guys down here. Have these guys Corpus Siege around here. Take Jerusalem. Well, I would. Uh, Jerusalem isn't even controlled by the Ottomans, so I can't. Impossible. Ottoman death spiral? Can you say, uh, based? Based and red pill. I actually forgot to do this one earlier as well with the building. We need to get the tin selected, right? So I need five dev. Prussia lost von freaking dynasty? Sag. So there we go. So now we should be able to do this. Boom. And that will get this trade goods over here somewhere. Change to... What was it? Bronze, which will give me artillery combat ability. So now we have bronze, so let's get a couple of these guys here. Preferably somewhere with lots of dev. Malay in the Far East? Of course they will be, yeah. Look at them. What you guys gonna do over here, Malaya, huh? Gonna get clapped doing their naval landings. This is actually good though, because it'll allow me to get them on low enthusiasm. Medina, white piece, easy enough. If I wipe this army out, his low and his enthusiasm will go to low as well. That was a good uh, good call on that. He doesn't even want out. This is fine. Take that. And then a couple more provinces over here that uh, he's got claims on. He won't accept it. Reasons. Oh, right. I don't have any provinces over there. Ah, it's fine. I'll just have him... First off, get rid of this stupid alliance. And then uh, give me all your money. So then I just have to give some cores over here to Byzantium. He's got permanent claims on all this stuff, so it's going to be super easy for him to uh, core it. It'll be easier. So he, uh, he can't core those two, so I'll core those two for him. There we go. Look at these guys over here. Chagatai. More perma claims, of course. Get rid of Border Gore. Yeah, eventually. Well, when I feel like it. So, we now have bronze. So, now let's take a look. We have bronze where? So, now that we have bronze, we can now make this one here. Cannon foundry. In order to do that, we need some good production. So, let's find something that's got good production. Novgorod. Yes. Novgorod will be will be the new place where our cannons will be built. Looks like I can't build it here because... I don't care. Get rid of that. Novgorod will build it. And how long will it take? Nine months. Not picking splints as a source of cannons? Should I? Is that for roleplay? 
I was more picking it because it's got good dev. We have 16 production over here. What does Cannon Foundry do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Cannon Foundry, when built and then linked with a pro bronze province, bronze producing province with at least five base production will give us cannons, which is 4.25 goods, um, ducats per goods produced. But more importantly, if you are the leading producer, you get artillery bonus versus fort plus one. Role play, yeah, gunpowder. So let's take a look at our bronze province, which is where, where did I build that again? Wasn't it right here? Oh, bronze and copper just look very similar. So it's already got five dev, so that's good. Now we just sit and wait. Speed five for a moment. You guys over here in Sargrad. Thank you for telling, of course. It's that good stuff. Auto is no longer a valid rival, which means we have giant PP, pee -pee, which is really good. Not understanding, will the Bronze Province produce cannons? So, no, the Bronze Province will have its development depleted to basically, it's, you know, kind of think of it like it's transferring that dev over to that province to change the goods produced. The dev just gets lost, but it gets transferred, it gets transformed into the new trade good. Get what I'm saying? Good day, by the way, as well, yes. So I don't have military access to get these guys up there, sadly. Looks like I need to get some more Streltsy. Push the Streltsy button, get these guys down there. I don't think we need that many, so I'll just get rid of half of them. Talents of big brain stuff. Right, that was the third option. It would be too long to write down, I suspected that. Yeah, for sure. Let's get you out of there. These rebels need to die, 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 and then I need to core it, and there we go. Not bad. So whenever this building is done here in a few months, we'll be able to switch that over. We'll definitely be the leading producer. Strolsky. Special Russian units. So Strolsky are uh, units that do additional 10% fire damage. They are available to anybody with, um, not the Sardom, but anybody with the, was it Russian culture? Or like a Russian culture nation? Because you can do it also as like these guys here, like Smolensk and them. Brandenburg getting involved in this wars. Sounds good to me. Pull me in, buddy. So then, this one's 23. We could definitely use more brass. Because we'll, we're going to need... We have one brass province, which is giving me advisor costs, if I recall correctly. Let's take a look, make sure that nobody else has built any. Has anybody else built brass? No. So it looks like I'll still be the leading producer then, yeah? Uh, the leading trader, yes. Russian Principality, yes. Any nation with the Russian Principality government. Correct, correct, correct. If anyone likes their drinks, I recommend two measures of dark rum, sprinkle of ground ginger, flip with orange soda. Damn. That does sound good. So Brandenburg is looking for a personal union here. That'd be pretty cool. Fishy Republic. Drinks, you say? Mm -hmm. Very good. Still not done yet, huh? No, it is. Okay. So now I click this button here, click that there. So you can see the dev will drop. And we are now producing cannons over here, which will give us additional artillery bonus versus fort. So now from now on, even if we have no cannons, we have plus one, which means we'll at max cannons, we'll get plus six. And then, um, you know, extra bonuses based on all that stuff. We could definitely change up our, oh wow, we have literally tube production. That's pathetic. 
How do I have two production in my capital? We produce beer. <laughs> More of this as well, because these buildings will give us lots of goods produced. And then... More uh, goods produced is in general is just good. 13 dev and tax. I know it. Price of bronze. So bronze cannons. There we go. So bronze is now increased. This is this is brass. Bronze is over here. 3.5. So bronze is giving me 10% goods produced if I'm leader. Really? Bronze is artillery combat. So production leader? You get bonuses from production leader as well? Exploit dev? Yeah, good call. Make dev and Kev, dev and Kiev 30. Uh, probably not. I probably won't do that. Good reminder, though, on the exploitation. Lots of monies. Turn this into... Um, uh, investments over in Siberia. Do it! Just do it. Just there we do go. It. So then we come out here. We also need to consider where do we need more trade? So like I need more trade power in these guys here. So that'll give me a little bit more trade over here. A little more trade through here as well. I could be steering a lot of trade from out there, man. And more goods produced out here. 131, hopefully it'll go up a little bit, like 133, 134. 136, even better, huh? So let's go with the minimum autonomy and territories. That might actually jack up my governing cap, but check this out. These guys all just dropped, which is gonna give me a ton more manpower, a ton more tax and everything in general. Using, any use in exploiting mill? Nah. Yeah, small bit, small boost of manpower immediately for a huge loss in the long term. Not worth IMO. So I did not mean to do that. Have these guys over here taking attrition for no reason at all. Byzantium looking good. We have lost the humiliate rival CB against Ming. Poor K. They're, I am no longer... They're no longer a valid rival of mine. Really. Alright, guys. So I think that's a good place to end it for the day. I need to go get my hair cut. Because I look like a damn homeless person. Fat Russia. I think we're probably... Well, let's actually take a look here and see what we need to do to finish this mission tree. I just need to dev a ton. We get... Uh, all power costs and core creation costs for seven for 50 years. That's cool. But I think... Gotta get faded. That's it. I think we're gonna play some Korea. We'll, we'll be starting that uh, either... I don't know about tomorrow, but definitely Thursday at the very latest. But uh, let's go on a raid. I think Quag is doing a 12-hour stream. So go show Quag some love. And... Uh, Tell him that he's a very handsome boy and that we respect him and that we love him. All right, boys? You should tell him that... Yes, you should always tell Quag that he's a handsome boy. All right, y'all. Take care. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for the subs, for the bits, for everything, for just hanging out and being here in chat. And uh, I'll talk to you guys all soon. Mwah!